In the fall of 1931, a most unique and elegant birthday gift was delivered to the Lake of the Woods summer home of Grace Ann and John Forlong. The gift, from John to his wife, was an 85-foot mahogany yacht built by the renowned Ditchburn Boat Works of Gravenhurst, Ontario. Christened the Grace Ann II, the yacht was considered the finest craft to be introduced to the Lake of the Woods. After a reported four and a half months under construction, and at an estimated cost of $75,000, the boat was completed. She was launched in Orillia, Ontario, at the Ditchburn's company plant, with a Union Jack fluttering from her stern and a string of flags streaming from her side, she slid into the water to the cheers of the gathered crowd. The boat's long and complicated journey from Aurelia to the Lake of the Woods took about six weeks. She was piloted through the Trent Severn Waterway to Georgian Bay and Lake Huron, and then to Port Arthur on Lake Superior. There she was dismantled, a process that took 11 days. Her deck house and all above deck structures were removed. The hull was then lifted out, tilted on its side, and placed in a large cradle which was then loaded onto a flatbed railway car. The engine and all movable parts were loaded onto three additional cars. In order to ensure the safe rail transport of the boat, minimum clearances of rock cuts, bridges, water tanks, and the elevation of curves and any other factors that might have an impact on the load were all taken into consideration. As a testament to the precise planning and careful transport by the Canadian National Railway, not a single joint was strained enough to put a hairline crack in the paint finish of the boat when she arrived in Rainy River. There, on the banks of the river, she was reassembled, launched, and shortly after was piloted across Lake of the Woods to Kenora and the Forlongs boathouse. Forlong spared no expense in making the boat as luxurious and comfortable as possible. This view of the dining and lounging salon shows off the boat's stately demeanour. Originally, the richness of the Cuban mahogany walls and flooring was complemented by Persian rugs, leather couches, and leaded glass in the doors of the buffet. Continuing through the salon toward the stern of the boat, one came upon the spacious after deck. During the Forlong's time, this lounging area was fitted out with rattan furniture made by members of the Society of the Blind. Ralph Irwin, the boat's second owner, had this area enclosed to provide additional crew quarters. F Cabin, one of the two double staterooms on board, was designed with large built-in mahogany dressers, large clothes closets, and a lavatory. The boat has always been used for pleasure outings, whether under the ownership of the Forlongs, Ralph Irwin of Adventures Unlimited, 3M, its local owners, and now its current owner, Winnipeg businessman Morris Chia. Beautifully maintained through its 80-year history, the Grace Antu is still the lake's most stately and elegant craft.